should they be doing that? Should they be upping the money? Does he deserve more? Well, he might be looking at what other people... I mean, Ozil's not even there today. You couldn't say he was missed. But obviously, he's, he's set the tone in terms of what the salary is, and maybe Ramsey's looking to get something near to his money. But why do you think Emery seems prepared to, to let him go? Well, it, it's, it's basically it's out of his hands. It's been allowed to run so long that, you know, you're not really... The player tends to, in that last season, feel, OK, well, let's just leave it to the, end of, to the summer. Let's see what else is out there and see if you really are off offering me a good deal. It's looking like he's going to leave now. They've really had their fingers burnt, haven't they, Arsenal, with, with contracts, letting them run down in the, in the past, Michael, caused yeah. big problems. And that then has a knock-on effect. I think they made a few mistakes. Sanchez, um, of course, was one of them. Then Ozil was almost very lucky that Sanchez was, was having problems with his contract and letting his contract run down because then they couldn't afford to, to uh, lose Ozil. And then he probably got a, a pay packet that was, was maybe 20 more than it would have normally been. Then that, that has a knock-on effect because now everybody knows what, to, what Ozil's on. And as Martin said, he wasn't here today and everyone compares themselves the to him. They've got a structure there, haven't they? They've got to, if they feel that's right for the football club, they've got to stick to what they have. But, you know, I'd be uh, sorry to see him, see him leave the football club. When he's been nurtured to the way he is and you can see that he's maturing, and when he comes in like that, he is the icing on the cake. How many players could have come from the bench and performed that well?